everyone, it's Adaptive Goddess, and today I'm going to be reviewing a book that totally changed my life. So the book I'm going to be talking about is a book that I referenced in one of my first videos where I talked about my journey and how I got to where I am today. So the book is called Asper Girls by Rudy Simone. It's a really wonderful book that has so many chapters that totally apply to just life in general, whether it's becoming an adult and going off to college, whether it's getting a roommate, whether it's even having children. There's so many things that she gives advice on that help you in an everyday life. So I'm going to read some of my favorite quotes. The first one is from Why Smart Girls Sometimes Hate School. Five and six year olds can be much more tolerant than older kids. My uncoolness was my coolness. Later, from about second to sixth grade, I wrote plays and gave out parts to my friends, performing them in and out of school. I had a good singing voice and wrote my own solo when the teacher gave the one Christmas solo to someone else. I had many friends, until adolescence. All at once, my idiosyncrasies became very uncool, almost overnight. My social deficits, which prior to that point had just been differences, became glaring holes in my persona. At first, I was merely ostracized, losing friends one by one. But then the threats came. It's that particular quote in this book that told me I wasn't alone in feeling so left out in school or so bad about myself when kids would make mean comments that, like, I didn't understand one of their jokes or something like that. And there's so many kinds of these quotes just layered and riddled throughout this book that make you really, really connect to every single person in this book. This book also does a really good job of interviewing other women on the spectrum. And so I'm going to read you one of their own quotes from the chapter about sensory overload. Typical sounds that others can filter out drive me to distraction and shatter into shards of disorienting pain. It's these personal quotes that give an image of someone behind this whole book. And it's that quote in particular that helped me realize that there are so many people out there that have that same brain and that if they can get through it, I can get through it. This book also does a really good job at the end of each chapter giving advice to Asper Girls and to parents separately. So one of my favorite advice quotes for parents that I ever read that gave me the purest amount of joy to read comes from the um, imagination, self-taught reading, and savant skills. Praise and encourage your daughter's passions, whatever they are. For herein lies her comfort, her security, her happiness, and possibly her genius. There also lies, most likely, the key to her future career. It was these kind of quotes, especially, that gave me support in a time when my parents didn't really know what was going on with me and couldn't be as supportive as I wanted them to be. And so it was someone who has Asperger's who said, hey parents, I'm a mom, here's my advice to you. And I took that as a parent was telling me it was okay to have some weird, funny skill of being able to communicate with people who basically get thrown aside sometimes. This book is a great book. If you were freshly diagnosed or as a parent found out your kid has high functioning autism because it has a lot of really good resources in the back and gives a DSM-4 definition of what autism is, which does help kind of give language to talking to your child or talking to your friends or even talking to your doctors. So yes, this is literally the book that changed my life when I was first diagnosed with Asperger's. I totally recommend it to anybody. You do not have to be a girl to read this book. It is vague enough that you can be a boy and still get a lot of lessons from it. Leave a comment down below. What is your source of empowerment? Mine is either Asperger's or even just music, 
how are rock ballads in general. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and gently tap that like button and remember to be kind, compassionate, and true to you.